want to travel back in time with an old man with white hair and a lab coat wearing an orange puffer jacket and jeans with the coolest shoes known to man, but also somehow trying to maintain the time stream but also not break things for your future or past selves. Well, good luck with that. Hey guys, I'm Matt by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make this cool, um, how, to, how to fix this cool uh, issue that a lot of people seem to be having with Ico spheres. Uh, sorry, with, with, with these spheres, you see at the top here, if you take a look, you have this little point, and this little point has always been kind of an issue, um, because if you're modeling an actual circle, it's never really a circle because it has these two pieces at the top. Now, especially if you were to go ahead and add in a subdivision surface uh, modifier and bump this bad boy up, you see here, you can see that when we go and take a look at this, it has this weird little banding, this weird little sun sunshine looking uh, like star banding here. And you can tell a lot easier if you uh, go here and uh, change a couple of things around you to get a little out of there. That's what you see. And now, more importantly, if you go ahead and add shade smooth, most people go ahead and go, oh, okay, well, then there, there you go. I, I fixed it now, and now it's all fixed. But when you take a look at it, you have this really weird rippling. You have this really, really strange rippling here when you take a look at this. So, um, and a super, super, super easy way to fix this is go ahead and go to the modifier tab, add a modifier uh, underneath the subdivision surface, and go ahead and go to normals, normal edit. And then boom, instantly, as you can see, it is completely fixed and everything is completely fine with it. The top and the bottom are now completely fixed now. And um, on any on any surface, on any, on any surface whatsoever, you're just completely fixed up. Now, if we, if we disable this normals edit again, you can see we have that weird little starfish sun looking thing there. We put it back on, boom, completely gone. That's an insane difference. And it's a singular, um, and it's a singular modifier. So... Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you learned something new today. Um, I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.